Hi, Todd Warren here in the Forecast Center with a look at our weather week ahead. And right now watching a cold front which is producing a few scattered showers and thunderstorms across uh, parts of the Arklatex. We will see the chance of rain gradually wind down this Tuesday evening as this cold front continues to move through the region. Much drier air will move in thanks to a breezy north wind which will settle in. And you can see an area of high pressure moving into the middle of the country at the surface that is going to continue to supply us with that north wind probably through when, uh, through Thursday and as a result we will see the continuation of the dry conditions. Here's a look at what we can expect here with the rest of the rain again this evening confined to the southeastern sections of the area should quickly move out as we become clear during the night tonight. Tomorrow I expect to see a sunny sky. It will be rather breezy with a north wind at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Tomorrow night that wind will die down and tomorrow night likely will be the coolest night. I'll show you those lows for tomorrow night here in a second. In the meantime, for Thursday, we will see lots of sunshine, still a bit of a breeze out of the northeast, but not as windy as what's expected uh, for tomorrow. As far as our forecast looks like this, again, the, the cooler air moves in and it definitely will be cooler tonight across the area as we'll see lows mainly in the upper 50s to low 60s with some middle 50s over the north and western sections of the area. You can see the 58 in Texarkana, 61 in Shreveport. Tomorrow looking at a rather breezy day, but a pleasant day, and it definitely will be cooler as we'll see highs in the upper 70s north to the lower 80s south. 82 tomorrow in Shreveport, 79 in Texarkana, and 82 for the high in Marshall. And as I mentioned, tomorrow night is looking like it will be the coolest night of the uh, of this week as we'll see temperatures that will fall into the mainly low to middle 50s. It's still possible we could see a few isolated 40s over the northern edge of the area, but the vast majority of the Arkletex will see lows tomorrow night in the low to middle 50s. Now longer range models starting to indicate a second surge of uh, drier and cooler air which is going to be moving southward. You can see this first surge moving out. We gradually warm up heading into the weekend and into next week. And then a disturbance comes in from the west. Could squeeze out a few showers here. I think it probably will hold off until Wednesday and probably linger into Thursday. At least that chance for some rain. Models are just now indicating this so it's not yet set in stone. And then we'll see uh, again a little bit of a cool down late next week. So this is how it all comes together in your 10-day forecast. We will see cooler temperatures for the next few days, lows for the next several nights uh, once we get past tonight in the 50s, probably into the weekend. Daytime highs will be in the 80s, probably into the weekend. Lots of sunshine through Monday. Notice the warming trend as lows will return to the 60s by the end of the weekend. Daytime highs back up into the lower 90s. We will see the chance for the shower or thunderstorm more than likely Wednesday and Thursday uh, with highs behind that disturbance retreating back into the middle 80s. So I don't know, it looks like a big taste of fall for the first day of fall tomorrow. As sunshine returns with lower humidity and much cooler temperatures.